We are here at Scarlet Night, organized by the South Asian Heart Center. Why are we here today? Because South Asians are four times at higher risk for heart attack. We're going to talk to some of the people, some doctors, to find out what are the little things we can incorporate in our lifestyle to reduce that risk of heart attack. Let's talk to them. We come from India. You know, we say, okay, we eat all this. Come here, first of all, we go from a mainly vegetarian diet to a pretty non-vegetarian diet. And then we totally lose out of portion control. We eat a lot more because that's how the plates are. Uh, and we eat a little unhealthy. So the thing that is very important is to follow sort of the diet in terms of more fiber, more vegetables, avoid uh, uh, you know, processed food, uh, you know, things like and a brown rice is much better than white rice. So I try to practice all of those things. I personally came with a very simple approach to doing that. Uh, there's, a, there's a dietitian called Barry Sears who actually has a Sears diet. It says that at the end of the day, try to eat, follow something called a 1 to 4 ratio. One time fat, two times uh, uh, protein, four times carb. I think uh, one of the things was the realization from South Asia Heart Center about three years back that there is an issue with us Asians about you know, having the issue of four times heart issues. And things was that very quickly I realized that I need to get my act together, which is eat right, exercise, and make sure that you are aware of things. I think one of the things that I've been doing in the last three years is just following that. Being aware of what I'm putting in my mouth, what I'm burning, and making sure that all the things are the right way. I don't, I mean, I don't work out every day or anything like that. I just eat well. Um, I eat light, but then I have my splurges of a lot of lamb curry sometimes and things like that. But I just eat right and moderately and I stay active. But I'm not one of those in the gym two hours a day kind of guys at all. Now, what are you incorporating in your lifestyle to avoid some of the risk associated with your heart disease, well, being a South Asian? Sure. And I mean, I just look at my father as well, who's, who's a heart patient. Um, I just limit the things that you're supposed to limit, you know, in terms of meats and, and high cholesterol items. I eat a lot of salads and chicken and vegetables. So I think now with exposure like this, people know that. It's not something that's so foreign that we have to change our diets. We just have to limit what we eat and keep everything in moderation. So it's pretty simple. I, and, and, and just through genes, genetically, I'm pretty blessed to be pretty slim. But I also know my dad's a heart patient, so that's why I'm here, one of the reasons I'm here. My message is that all of us need to have, all of us South Asian women re really need to be aware of this, that this is such an um, awful statistic. We need to keep this at the back of our mind and every year for sure we must have a baseline test. Just as we do with mammograms, we must get our cholesterol checked and do a heart scan if necessary because we want to be around to support our kids, our community and the world at large. Uh, what we find is a lot of participants do have low HDL, you know, amongst Indians it's prevalence and high LP little a. And often with the low HDL, we need to motivate people to do, go out and exercise. So uh, that's what me and my, you know, my team, the whole heart health coaching team does is once they go through the screening, we'll follow, follow up with the participant once a month, uh, either by email or by phone call, and then remind them of their recommendation and sort of work with them. If they are not able to follow certain recommendations, Recommendations. We help them to find the alternatives and work with them for a year to, you know, making small steps and helping them to make those recommendations. Uh, do you see uh, the pattern changing a lot within the South Asians in the community through all the awareness programs that you have? Yes, I think I do see a pattern five years back, you know, people didn't know about South Asian Heart Center. Now, anywhere you go, people have heard about it. But I would really like to encourage even the youngsters to come forward and get the baseline done. And the sooner they get the test done, even at 18 and 20, and if they do have risk factors, they, you know, they will not be where we are right now at the epidemic of heart disease. And the sooner they make those lifestyle changes, it's easier. Always keep an eye on what you eat. There's no need to um, to go on crash diets, nor is there any need to binge. Um, you know, the Cheetos and the potato chips and all that. Everything in moderation. Um, there's no need to deny yourself, but no need to go overboard. That's right. I would say, uh, you know, very similar things. Uh, stay away from doing anything in any kind of excess. At the same time, have a good life and have fun. So, uh, yeah, you know, eating healthy, uh, uh, keeping track of food uh, items that are good for you, uh, including that in your diet. Exercise regularly, like I said before, it's more than just uh, for internals, it's also for your state of mind and um, enjoying life. The big message is 
can we change our diet to help us? And you know, the message is eat more vegetables and we're finding research that supports it. But Indians, when you say eat more vegetables are like, oh, we don't do salads. You know, we're not, we're not that kind. We don't, we don't like cold foods. So my whole solution to that is put all the goodies, good vegetables into a soup, blend it and have it. You know, you can have it warm. And so that's one simple way to increase your vegetable intake and eating more vegetables. I thought it was just good for you, but they've shown that it can actually turn off a heart disease gene. So it's that powerful, and I think that's a very small step somebody can take in, when it comes to diet. When you look at Ayurveda, it just there's a prescription for a good, healthy life. And that is actually, those prescriptions are the things that have been incorporated into the South Asian Heart Center. So when people ask, well, what is it that you do to decrease the risk of heart disease in the population? So what we do is, we practice a science-based Vedic approach to health. We realize the importance of nutrition. We realize the importance of physical activity, adequate rest, and meditation. And this is nothing new. I mean, there's nothing new under the sun. What we have done is we have actually gone back to the land of the Ved, and we have found the prescription. And that prescription now has been documented in Western medicine and then we just prescribe it to our participants.